See? Just made a mistake. I'm trying to spread these dots wide out uh, across the page and not draw... I'm trying to draw these bleachers, and I'm trying to dot them in. Um, but I'm not trying to dot them in succession like this because that leads to all kinds of mistakes. Um, the lines become uneven, and um, and then the bleachers don't all look the same because you're not doing them all at once in this wide, spreading out type of um, meaner. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm doing right now. I am just dotting in these bleachers. See, I'm drawing a basketball um, drawing right now. Actually, I'm not sure if I want to do the bottom yet, but maybe I will. But I play a lot of basketball, and I am working on a basketball series of drawings. I used to draw much more serious stuff inspired by rural Vermont. Um, I was living in Vermont only a couple years ago, and I drew a lot of, like, collapsed barns and animals, you know what I'm saying? And, like, really dark, depressing sort of stuff that was really good. It's very personal. But I moved back to the city, and within a year, I'd say right after moving back to say I realized that I was facing some sort of artistic crisis because, you know, this material that was so good, the barns and the rural life and everything, wasn't available to me anymore. So I had to really think about what I was going to work on next, sort of like a project. I mean, what is it about the city um, that I like? And, you know, it was, it was a real difficult thing because I don't really like the city. I don't like the city that much. I don't like the noise. I don't like the, the stimulation. I don't like the people, you know what I'm saying, for the most part. Um, except for, you know, friends and my girlfriend or whatever. But um, it was really hard trying to figure out what to draw. But I play a lot of pickup basketball, so... I was literally just sitting on the bleachers one day, and I took a photo of a game in front of me to send to my girlfriend because I just wanted to show her some of the people playing. I thought they were funny. Um, I don't know why it's a weird thing to do, but looking at that photo after I sent it, I'm like, whoa. Whoa, man. These guys are really cool. This would make a really good drawing. Um, and... From then on, I've been drawing basketball players. That's what I have to say about the city. Basketball players. There's no better way of showing a city and its people than drawing pickup basketball players. This is what I'm working on right now. I have a top cell and a bottom cell. And I've been reading a lot of comic books recently trying to figure out how to draw basketball players. And... Comic books are great for portraying action, different scenes and things happening. And so it's basically just me trying to figure it all out. And based on comic books, trying to learn as much as I can about comic books. And trying to make these sort of fine art personal statements through um, the techniques of comic books, which I love. And... Um, that includes manga, and that includes American comic books. Like, even today, even today, I bought $60 worth of Ninja Turtles. Because I'm like, man, Ninja Turtles, when they were drawn by that Kevin Eastman guy in the 80s and the 90s, when he was still underground, and when he was drawn in black and white with that rough cross-hatching, just totally badass, gritty feel, man, that was just the best stuff. Um, and when I saw it advertised, I was immediately like, oh man, I could really learn from this. Uh, before that, I've been reading a lot of Lone Wolf and Cobb, which is a great manga. And other random shit. Uh, a lot of stuff from this sort of alternative manga era called Gaikia, I think that's how you pronounce it. 
and you know where they use photographs in weird ways and they're just really dark and edgy and they also have a sort of underground feel but anyway that's really it I maybe spent thousand dollars on comic books the last six months or so um, but I think it's really been paying off big time. Um, this drawing in particular isn't very special. It's not very flashy. It's just an intro. Um, it's just the first part of a three part series. Next drawing, this guy. He's going to um, be pushing past this guy. And then on the third drawing, he's going to be shooting over him. Like sort of victorious, triumphant third movement. Um, and so this, this drawing in particular is not very flashy. It's just an intro. It's not very complicated. I'm not even sure I like it that much. These are some guys that I was playing with at the beginning of the summer. Um, and I immediately was, knew I had to draw them because they were just... I'm saying this as a straight guy. They were so gorgeous, man. They're so gorgeous. The way they moved, their energy level. They were so talented. There's so much energy. All this energy they pent up all winter. They're playing like one of the first warm days of spring. They are perfect. And I immediately knew I had to draw them. Um, but it's, it's taken a while to figure out how to actually do it. And I came upon this setup for this drawing by just having this as a starting point of facing off. And it's drawn very roughly right here. I used a uh, found pen, which is really rough as sort of an ugly textured feel that I like. But I started with that. I felt like this isn't cool. And then I paired it with these guys because I liked how the bleachers matched these bleachers. And it just all looked really good when I set up on the page. But even then, I was like, this is not enough. And so I decided to do two more drawings after this. Realized I had to be part of Oh, now I'm messing up. See? It's hard to film yourself and draw at the same time. But anyway, this is the final stages of this drawing. I've been working on it for about a month. And hopefully it will be done in maybe two more weeks. That's what I'm hoping. I'm very lucky because... All my personal days were about to expire at my job. My boss was just like, you should just use them man, before they expire. She's a good boss. And so I've had yesterday, today, and I'm going to have tomorrow off. And I'm going to try to get as much done as I possibly can. So anyway, this is my first video of my series. Just sort of introducing this piece. Um, I've been watching a lot of stuff on YouTube. I guess that's why I wanted to do this because I just enjoy watching other artists work and, uh, I've learned a lot from them. I feel inspired. It's a feeling of camaraderie, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, why not just jump in this myself and, and my drawing process is so slow and I'm so methodical that each video will probably only be able to cover a certain segment of my drawing. And you're only going to see maybe just me work on a little piece here, a little piece there. Um, but that's fine. Anyway, thanks and goodbye guys.